Hello guys, I have just arrived in Copenhagen for Eurovision. I'm here. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really pleased to be here. It's going to be fun, I think. So it's Sunday the 5th of May. I'm here until Friday and I go home to watch the final in Liverpool. So yeah, it's going to be a long week. But I wanted to do a vlog like I did in Liverpool last year, just... Um, showing you what I'm up to. I'm going to some of the shows for the semi-finals. I want to look in Copenhagen, look around Copenhagen and Malmo as well. So I'll be crossing over the bridge in between the two countries quite a lot. And the great thing about that is there's a special train ticket or weekly train ticket which covers Copenhagen and Malmo. You can travel between the two and in that area as much as you like with this special train ticket and I think it costs like £50 which is really good it's unlimited travel over the bridge as much as you like so yeah that sounds really worth it and I will be making the most of that so yeah I haven't got anything like planned <laughs> I'm just sort of going with the flow I'll go into Malmo at some point and have a look around but yeah, for now, I'm going to go to bed, I think, and I've got some Swedish chocolate to try. So yeah, join me in my Malmö Hagen adventure, <laughs> and I'll see you very soon in the morning. Good night. Hi everyone, so day one is complete. I'm very tired, I've been out all day. I've been to Malmö, I've walked around Malmö. Very nice, really, it was very quiet when I was there anyway, like mid morning, early afternoon. I walked around the park, around just the main part of the city and it was really quiet, very peaceful. The park was really nice. Um, so yeah, that's mainly what I've been doing, is having some time in Malmö. Uh, I also went to the Wee Wee Blogs meet and greets in the Emporia shopping centre in Malmö. Uh, Nutsa from Georgia was there. Um, so yeah, that was nice. Uh, her mum was with her and they sang a little traditional Georgian song together, so that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I just had a lot of walking around and I'm just really tired now because I've been out all day. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed, start again tomorrow. I need to see more of Copenhagen because I've spent quite a lot of time in Malmö today. Um, but yeah, I feel like I, I've seen quite a lot of Malmö now. Uh, you've got like the old sort of medieval part of it in like the town square um, and then you've got the main park uh, the Eurovision stuff is sort of not in the middle of Malmö it's sort of like another train stop away so you, you go to Malmö Central but that's the, the city itself and then you go on another train and that's where the arena is like five minute train ride away that's where the village is, which I haven't been to yet. Um, but yeah, I've seen the arena. I'm going there tomorrow for the live semi-final. I can't wait for that. So yeah, I'll start all over again tomorrow. But it's going well, going really well so far. Met some nice people from Twitter. 
always good to bump into people that you've seen online before. So yeah, it, it's really nice so far. To get from Copenhagen to Malmo is only about half an hour away. And it's really interesting to go from one country to another in such a short space of time. Like after half an hour, you're in Sweden and you've just been in Denmark. So yeah, it's just a really fascinating concept how in one day it's so easy to go in between the two, not just the two cities, but the two countries. I just got back from semi-final one. Wow, what an amazing show and what an experience to be in the arena for a live show. You kind of forget that it's live on TV. <laughs> I I thought everyone was so good. The interval acts, amazing. The opening act um, with, you know, Chanel and um, Lingy Fuera, Eric Sade, Joey Logan was there, Benjamin Ingrosso, he was great. I haven't heard his other music, but he really put on a show, he was really good. Um, yeah, and just all, I mean, everyone was just so good, the staging, so much fire, and you can really smell the fire when it comes out of the stage. And that's just in the seating area, so the people stood by the stage. God knows how they cope with that heat. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I haven't watched any of the videos back yet on YouTube. 
obviously I haven't seen it on TV because I was there in the audience, but from an audience perspective, Croatia got a huge reception, a huge crowd reaction. I mean, it is the favourite to win. And I think it could win. I think Croatia could win. The crowd absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Yeah, Croatia was a highlight, definitely. Ireland, of course. You know, they've qualified, which is what people wanted. So Irish fans are very proud. And there were a lot of Irish fans in the audience. So, yeah, that was a nice moment. Um, you know who I thought was surprisingly good? It was actually Germany. Yeah, Isaac... It just really impressed me for some reason. I just thought, oh, wow, that was better than expected. His voice is amazing. Or oh, he sounded great in the arena anyway. Um, I'm happy that Cyprus got through. I wasn't sure if she would, um, but I'm happy for her. I thought Luxembourg were good. Um, Ukraine, obviously. Oli Alexander, he was great. I know I haven't seen yet what it looks like on screen. I only saw it from the arena, um, but I need to catch up with everything, you know, all the performances online and watch the whole thing <laughs> at some point. So I've got a reaction video to the, well, to our uh, reaction to the qualifier announcement at the end. That was really fun. And you can tell how shocked me and my friend Faith are in the video because I don't think people expected Slovenia to qualify. Slovenia! I'm happy that she did, because I really like the song, um, but I really didn't think it would. And the fact that they called out the three most unexpected countries right at the start, back to back, Portugal, Serbia, Slovenia, and those were the three that I was the most uncertain of. I remember saying, I don't think all three of them can go through. And now I feel really stupid because they, they got called out one after the other. So, yeah, that was quite a surprise to see Portugal, Serbia, Slovenia all go through. I'm really sad for Australia because, you know, I've always loved that song. It's been in my top ten. Um, in the arena, Australia, it was a lot of fun. People loved it. The crowd loved it. But I don't know how it looked on TV. I haven't seen the performance yet. Maybe it didn't come across that well on TV. Um, I'll check that out. But yeah, I'm sad for Australia. But the other non-qualifiers were, yeah, were quite predictable, I think. So yeah, that was a brilliant show. And now we've got semi-final two to look forward to. And tomorrow night is the, the preview or the rehearsal show that they have the night before the live show. So I will be going to the semi-final two preview show tomorrow night. So that should be fun because semi-final two has got a lot of big favorites. So can't wait for that. But yeah, that was an amazing show and an amazing experience. I loved it and I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope your favorites made it. <laughs>
everyone. I have just been to the semi-final two preview show, so the night before the live semi-final, which is tomorrow night. Um, let me just tell you first what happened, because it's been quite a wild day, to be honest. So I was late. Well, not just me, a lot of fans were late to the show because we couldn't get from Copenhagen to Malmö because everything, all the trains between Denmark and Sweden were completely stopped. They just came to a complete stop because something happened on the track in Malmö, which completely stopped traffic between the two countries for, you know, quite, well, a few hours, not too long, about two or three hours. Um, so yeah, I thought I wasn't going to make it to the show. I thought, I'm going to have to go back to Copenhagen and I'm not going to make it in time for the show. But then when we got back to Copenhagen, there were a lot of other fans that were going to the show in the same situation. By the time we got back, the bridge had opened <laughs> back to Sweden. So we got on the train back to Malmö and we were late for the show by about like 20 minutes, half an hour. I missed the first like five songs. Um, but I got there. I saw most of the show. So yeah, I, I did not expect that at all to actually get there. But I'm glad that I did. Um, and yeah, the show itself was, yet again, it's just like semi-final one, amazing. I mean, you'll see it tomorrow on TV, but yeah, really strong semi-final. Again, the interval acts are so good this year. And it's only the semi-finals, so what have they got planned for the final in terms of the interval acts? Because they're already so good. Um, if you don't know already, the preview shows, are they happen the night before the live show. And it's a run through of the whole thing, like a rehearsal, basically. Um, but it's just not live on TV, it's just the, you know, it's a whole show. Um, you know, full costume, it's a full run through. Um, but it's just the night before the live show. So let me go through my favourites, my highlights of the semi-final. Of course, the Netherlands is my winner of the whole thing. And the crowd absolutely loved it. I'm going to upload a video of the performance that I took. And hopefully in that video, you can see how much the crowd are just going wild for it. It's basically like you've got Croatia semi-final one and you've got the Netherlands semi-final two and there really is like a battle between them both. I, I mean the televote in the final would be so interesting to see which one does better than the other because Croatia got the biggest reaction in semi-final one and now the Netherlands got the best reaction in semi-final two. So yeah, that dance break at the end, the GABA dance break, the crowd were well, on their feet, you know, in the seating areas, the crowd stood up. So, yeah, that was amazing. I mean, in terms of the whole staging, they're going to do something they've never done before, something that's never been seen before. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I, I don't know what they were trying to promise with that, but... It will look different on TV. I think there's a lot of visuals that will work, may maybe work better on camera. But when you're watching it live, you can't really see it. But yeah, they did hype up the station a lot and it doesn't look that different from rehearsals because I think we were expecting something even more. And they haven't given that yet, really. So, I mean, I mean, I still love it. I still want it to win the whole thing. Um, I'm not sure if it will, to be honest. I really don't know. But I can tell you it got such a good reaction from the crowd and people still love it. You know, everyone just went wild for it, just like Croatia in semi-final one. So, yeah, of course, Jos Klein was my favourite. It was the one that I was waiting for. Um, my other big favourite, I've got quite a few actually, but one of them is Georgia. 
that was absolutely incredible i can't wait for you to see that on tv i mean she's definitely qualifying there's no way that she can't qualify but not only that but it's giving me like a top 10 in the final vibe like it is amazing it's almost like the new fuego like an iconic girl bop that will go down in history probably the I think it's actually the best of all of the girl bops, you know, probably better than Austria and Malta. Yeah, honestly, Georgia, what a comeback for them. Not only are they going to qualify, but I think they could do very well. That was amazing. I was really impressed with San Marino. The staging is really cute. It's just really nice. And... Yeah, that was a good performance too. I, I'd like them to qualify. I don't know if they will. But you know what? I, I, w I was watching it and I thought, oh, I really want them to qualify. This is so good. So we'll wait and see. But yeah, some really good performances. I like Denmark as well, actually, but that might not qualify either. Um... I didn't see Switzerland, I missed it, I wasn't there at that point, so I feel like it was good, I'm sure it'll look good on TV. Um, when Israel came on, there was booing in the crowd, quite a lot of booing, um, mostly at the beginning and end of the song, and then it kind of calmed down in the middle of it, but yeah, it was a bit awkward. To be honest, you know, a bit of tension in the arena. Um, when it's live on TV, I imagine they'll cover that up in some way and you won't actually hear it on TV. Um, I don't know if anything else will happen. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you could sense there was some awkwardness in the air. Um, I'm just thinking who else I like. Estonia were quite good, actually, because I know that people were talking about Estonia maybe being a shock non-qualify, and that could still happen. Um, but I quite liked it, actually. So, yeah, there's so many songs that I would like to qualify. Um, I just don't know if they will. Norway, of course, are really good. Love that. Um yeah, what a strong semi-final. And also Italy and France and Spain, actually. They were all from the Big Five performing in the semi-final. And they were all really good. France gave me a bit of a winner vibe, I'm not going to lie. Um, Italy was great. Yeah, really good staging. There's a lot of pyro at the end. That's a really nice moment. Um, yeah, so tomorrow night you will see the show live on TV and it's going to be another good semi-final and I still don't know for sure who's winning. Does anyone know who's winning? Right now I think it could be Croatia if I had to pick one. Um, but yeah, amazing show. I think both semi-finals have been really good, actually. This could be the strongest year, like, ever. Like, it's such a good year. Um, so yeah, a bit of a, a wild night, slightly chaotic, but I got there in the end, that's the main thing. And now I think it is time to go to bed. And then tomorrow night we can watch the live semi-final. And I hope you enjoy however you're watching it and however you're celebrating. See you again tomorrow. <laughs>just been watching semi-final two in Copenhagen so sorry to all the Danish fans for Denmark not qualifying again <laughs> that's a shame um but yeah wow 
my reaction video to the qualify announcement is on my channel right now i think it's a lot of fun it's a very entertaining reaction I mean, the, the word that comes to mind is Latvia. I, I don't think anybody expected Latvia to qualify. Like, literally no one. We all assumed Latvia was just a certain non-qualifier. I've always liked Hollow, actually. I, I really, I mean, Dons is such a lovely guy. He deserves it so much. It's a shock, but it's very good, pleasantly surprising shock. Like, I cannot believe that. That is amazing. So happy for Latvia. And now we've got Latvia, Georgia and Ireland in the final together. That's amazing. Wow, I'm so happy for all of them. Um, Belgium didn't go through. You know what? I'm actually not that surprised. I mean, when the song came out, people thought, oh, it could win. But look what happened. When I watched it in the arena, yes, last night at the preview rehearsal show, I was thinking then, this is not quite, it's just not quite hitting. And... I mean, it was never a certain non-qualifier, but it just turned into a borderline qualifier and now it hasn't gone through. And I, I am sad for Belgium. But then on the other hand, I'm actually not like really shocked. Like it did cross my mind it could happen. Um, so yeah, I mean, I agree with all of them really, but I am quite sad for Malta because I think Sarah deserved it as well. And I really liked San Marino. Um, yeah, that was good. But I mean, we shouldn't be shocked that it didn't qualify, but I would have liked it to. But I'm really, I'm shocked for Latvia, but in a very positive way, I'm so happy for him. But yeah, it was really fun to watch it. And tomorrow I'm going home. <laughs> I've been in, Copenhagen and Malmo now since Sunday night. So I've been here for both of the semi-finals, five days, and I'm going home tomorrow and I'm watching the final in Liverpool on Saturday night. Yeah, it's been a busy week. It's been a great week actually, really nice. I've met some new people, which has been great. I've spent time with with people that I already know, but I've met some really nice new people as well. And yeah, it's been really good. I know that there is a bit of a dark cloud, shall we say, hanging over the contest this year. Um, you know, it's not, it's not like a normal year, um, but it's still been a good time and you can still celebrate the music that you want to um, and support the artists that you want to and you can still create memories and that's what that's what it's all about that's why i love eurovision you know celebrating music making memories with people so yeah it, it has been a really good week i've loved it hello um so i've been editing the video i'm also losing my voice <laughs> why why am i losing my voice now like days after i came back um i think it's all catching up with me anyway so i'm editing the vlog and uh, this was this bit right here was filmed before the whole drama controversy kicked off before it all turned to absolute 
chaos and at one point we thought the contest wouldn't even go ahead. So yeah, I'm quite positive in this part of the video, but obviously this was filmed before the whole catastrophe, <laughs> before the whole thing just fell apart. So yeah, just thought I'd pop in and say that this was filmed before that happened. <laughs> in terms of who's winning, this is probably the most open year we've ever had since I've been watching at least. Like this is like the strongest year ever. Um, I, I feel like it could be Croatia. Yeah, I mean, Croatia is the big, you know, the big favorite. Obviously, you know, you know that I'm a Yost Klein <laughs> fan. Um, I'm still, you know, he's still my winner. Um, but yeah, I think Croatia could do it. Um, but there'll be quite a few worthy winners, I think, actually. So, yeah, um, it'll be very interesting. Thank you for watching my vlog. Um, it could be a long one. I've talked quite a lot. There's been a lot to get through and a lot to talk about. But I am going to do, after the final, a review of the final results. And eventually I'll do a video talking about a review of my time at Eurovision this year, looking back and picking out highlights, just like I did with Liverpool last year. So yeah, that's another year nearly over until obviously the final on Saturday. So thank you for watching my vlog and my other videos I've uploaded. Hope you enjoy the final, however you're watching, however you're celebrating. And yeah, Tack to Sweden and Denmark. It's been great. Thank you for watching. See you very soon.